That's okay, babe. You know, because cancer runs in his side. Yeah. So, so, you know, we need to break that, you know. Cancer has to leave now and be gone in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You know, no grandchildren, no children on your side, not on his side. Oh, so what are they doing? Are you taking chemo? No, I'm going to have the thyroid removed in general, and then I'll have a radioactive iodine pill. Then you're going to have to take pill. a pill to take the rest of your yes. life. No, well, yeah, yeah. Yes. Have to t but I yes. take that now. Oh, I take you? a thyroid medication for the last 12 years. Really? So that's nothing new, but they'll take, they'll give me a radioactive iodine pill to kill off the rest of the Yeah, and so you know you've got to drink plenty of fluid to yes. flush it out of your system. And I can't be six foot and with Exposed anyone. Exposed to anybody, so wear your mask. I'll be listen, in the, I listen, know. don't be shamed about wearing your mask. I'll just stay in the house for the week. Really? Catch up on week. like, hey, I'm going to be laid out reading books, not having to do anything. That's what you think. That's what you think. <laughs> and keep, keep that focus Can you even like do, because okay, I think okay, it comes okay. out of the skin too, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's coming out of the skin. You got to drink plenty of fluids. Huh? You didn't do it. Plenty of fluids. The you thing of it is, you don't want to be around right. anybody that's ill. Huh? Right. No way, shape, form, or fashion. Right. But we need to cover you right now. You know where you're blessed or all that? On the dress. Okay, we just going to okay. talk to you. I'm ready for it. Okay. <laughs> you didn't come over. You know I was waiting on the oil. In the name of Chief. Give me a hand. Come on. It's come okay. on, Tay Tay. It's okay, Jayla. Come on. Oh, Hold your hand. Hold your hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy. There is none like you in all the earth. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, we thank you this day for grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord, because you woke us this morning, Lord. You woke us all up in the name of Jesus with the help of our limbs. We stepped out of the tub. We stepped out of bed. Didn't nobody get us thank up you, but Jesus. you. Hashanah Boshate. We thank you for that, Lord, because you are great and greatly to be praised. There is none like you in all the earth. Your blood has never lost its power. Thank we you, thank Jesus. you, Lord, for this household, for the angel of this house, that you will bless her and her husband. They're going out and they're coming in in the name of Jesus. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us thank this you, day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. We thank you, Lord. If there's anything that we've said or done, we repent right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for tossing it into your sea of forgetfulness. You, Lord, we hold this family up to you right now in the name of Jesus. You see them where they are, Lord. You see what's going on in the family. Yes, Lord, Lord, you said in your word, where two or three are gathered in your name, as it is in Mark 11, 23 and 20. Where two or three are gathered in your name, ask what you will, and it will be gathered, given unto you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Ooh, we bind Thank sickness you. and disease. We bind cancer from the root in Jennifer's body in their family tree. It shall be done. No more cancer shall arise right now in the name of Jesus. It has to leave in the name of Jesus. You said upon your name, every knee has to bow in the name of Jesus. Thank we you, cancel Jesus. cancer's assignment from the root and we toss it back into your sea of forgiveness and we release more of you into her life from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet in the name of Jesus cover her children her grandchildren cover this family Lord in the name of Jesus. You, Jesus we plead the blood of Jesus over this family Lord from the front door to the back door in each and every one's car they're going out and they're coming in they're uprising and they're sitting down in the name of Jesus no incidents accidents or mishaps shall happen to any of them going out and coming in there shall be no school shooting in their area in the name of Jesus those that are going off to college open doors give them favor with their peers Lord with their teachers Lord save them if they're not saved Lord send laborers across their field Lord in the name of Jesus to Thank tell them about you Lord that they must be saved they must be born again in the name of Jesus this is the time that we are living in Jesus we thank you we thank you because you're a great
great big God and there is none like you in all the earth. We thank you for this family. We ask that you bless them. Keep them lifted up. Hold them in the hollow of your hand. Order their footsteps. We know the plans. that We don't know the plans that you have for us, but we know that you know the plans in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, you see Jennifer as she's getting preparing for her surgery. We ask that you anoint the doctor's hand, Lord, the anesthesiologist. She won't give her too much or she won't give her too little. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. But she will wake up on time, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we will wake up and her family will be there to show her much love. And she will have a speedy uh, so she will have a speedy recovery in the name of Jesus. You will bless her, Lord, and she won't be have no um, side effects from any of the medicines that she's taking in the name of Jesus. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to do for her. We thank you for her family. Bless her, Lord. Keep her. Give her peace of mind. You said in your word, you keep your mind stayed on you that you would have perfect peace. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. It is so in Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. 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 Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. like I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm going to do high five now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, we've been praying over my uh, sister-in-law. She's got some kind of lung disease, and she's been taking chemo, but she hasn't had any side effects from it. Yeah. We pray that there is nothing like dormant in her system from these drugs that we are taking. You know, everybody taking some kind of blood pressure pills, yeah. some kind of right. pill, and you don't know all the side effects that exist. And that's the thing uh, about a lot of medications now, you take your pills and that's some side effects, and the pill is the side effects of that pill. That's right. That's right. What, sometimes exactly. it keeps people sick. That's why, I say, that's why I say you've got to have your prayer format. See, everybody knows the formula to pray. If we start out praying, the principle is we start out praising Him. Yeah, and then we say the Lord's Prayer because yeah, yeah, he said in his word, this is the way that we yeah, are to pray. Then after we pray, then we start petitioning him. But before we can petition him, we cannot have aught against any man. If there's anything that you disliking or you just said about something, you first got to repent of that. You got to be and forgave your fellow man. Whatever he done did, whatever, you got to be and forgave him. Now we can petition the Lord. This is the format, and then the principle is we come boldly to his throne of grace and ask what we will because we're connected to the vine. See, a lot of people think just because you know the scripture, you can say it, but if you don't have a relationship, if you didn't beat that woman up over there and you ain't uh, right. asked for forgiveness for her, God said, I'm going to treat you just like you did mm -hmm. her. Right. You didn't forgive her, don't be asking me nothing. Well, that's one thing we do Sunday scriptures. And we tell people to give thanks in all things, not just the good things, but all even the bad things, to see how he'll bring you out of it. He will. You gotta give thanks in all things, not just when people, not just when you win money or get a new car or some good happens. That's when you want to thank because, Jesus. Because they think it was them that did it. It wasn't them that did no, it. No, he did it for God's you. God's favor. His favor. It's just like when you get the parking space close to the door. That's favor from God. It wasn't nothing you it's did. Everything, everything that goes on in life. When you make yeah, it to your written. job safely back and forth, right. it ain't nothing you didn't And you did. know, since I drive a truck like that every day, I thank him throughout my day. When I'm driving, That's I, right. I, I just say thank, That's I just right. Right. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because thank if you, Jesus. you sit here saying that, truly the enemy is sitting over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say something I'm that right. you're just going to sit here. And trust me, he is sitting there waiting on you to stay. you killing me. you killing me. Right. And it's sure. A freak accident will happen. So, see, we have to be careful at what we let come out of our mouth. All these old sayings that we use to say, you killing me. You you know what my words are? You're not going to worry me. You are not going to worry me. And don't make me get mad and tell my daddy on you. My daddy will whoop my kids about me. That's just how much he loves me. You know, I tell my kids, tell my daddy on my kids. You know, that, that's how personal this thing is. Right. You know, he, that's how he wants us to look at him. See, in the relationship, she comes first and then the children. Children, right. See, but people don't know the protocol. There's protocol and whatever Because without do. her, the children wouldn't be there. Thank you very much. 
And to the kids, what are you at now? Ain't nobody home with you and yeah, her. Right. They going on doing their own thing. So the kids came first, and I put them first, and she be going. Thank you very much. See, we have to know protocol. You know, we have to know who, uh, what our source is. Without the woman, you, I mean, the kids will be there no way. And we got to know the source. It ain't nothing we done did. You, you ain't so such a mutt. You just a little dressed up piece of dirt. That's how I say to dirt from dust we came and to dust we shall return. You know, just like man with Thomas, she didn't want to be burnt. She don't know. She made her transition. She right. been left. She's gone. She's he said you'll have a new body. See where they had took that breath off? Now she got a new body. But see, that's why I tell people, I say, where's your church home? I've been telling her for a long time, where's your church home? I go to church on TV. I said, but let me tell you this much about church TV. Ain't nothing wrong with that if you're not able to go. But when, come time when you get sick, is the TV going to come lay hands on you and pray for you? Is the pastor going to come lay hands on you and pray for you? Where is your pastor at? So here we are making arrangements for the funeral. Where's the pastor coming from? I don't know now. Well, let me ask the kids. What, what church I go to? We don't go to church. See, the thing of it is, God don't care who he move out the way to get your attention. Like I said, that, that day you called me, that day you called me, I knew it was the Lord because they said they were never at church that late in the afternoon. Never. I know. They never said at church that late. But that day you called me and told me to call them, they were there. The Lord told me. And I went and got baptized that same day. And I said, Lord, fill him up. He said, I'm filling him now. And they had told me, we're never here, dude. We're never here. We never stay here this late. But today, for some reason, we stayed. It doesn't matter where you are. He's omnipotent. He can be over there and over here at the same time. Huh? That's just how good he is. I got him. I got him. You do. I got him. And see, we as intercessors. We got the power. He said that same power the disciples had. You and you and you, we got That's that. Same power. We got that. If we walk up right before him, he said he won't withhold no good thing from us. Nothing shall he withhold from us. Ask what you will. Ask what you will. But as my hair business was kind of declining, I'm like, okay, Lord, what else you got for me to do? I ain't ready to sit down, Jesus. What else I supposed to do? This lady came in the beauty shop. She said, Miss Bell, you can do this. I said, girl, I never worked no place else before. Who comes in and give you a job on your job? You just sitting there. She said, Miss Bell, you can do it. I said, girl, no. Nah. So I was playing. I ain't going to do it. But I was keeping my grandbabies. But, you know, we don't pay right when it's your parents. You know, you don't get paid. Said, you know what? I'm going to give me some real money. So, Mom, you can't do it. Look. That lady, she said, you coming, Miss Bell? She here right now. We met at McDonald's and did an interview That's at McDonald's. And I'm like, okay. and I've been working ever since. And mind you, the girl that got me the job, she turned against me. What? And I'm like, what would I do to her? But when God gives you favor, other people don't like that. So she said, they don't want you back. I said, okay, my feelings were so crushed. I'm like, Jesus, what I do, Lord, what I do? She lied on me. She did. The Lord said, I got this. He said, he will be your vindicator. He will be your vindicator. I said, okay, just trust Lord. Trust and believe. Have just your faith. Trust. She didn't even give me a chance to explain. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus. Lord said, I got this. I want you to know that girl called me the other day to pray okay. for her daughter who was going to surgery, who had cysts on her kidney. I'm like, oh, he said, he'll make your enemies your footstool. Right. Your enemies will so be So she good. called you and wanted you to pray. Oh, really? Right. You want me? I couldn't. What are I going to say? I yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. That's, that's, that, that's, you know, your evil God side. said. You can't. Yeah, you couldn't say that. If no. I cut you and I cut you, one thing about it, we all going to bleed the same yeah. blood. Yeah. Trust them. Yeah, yeah, but and, 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 and wondering how, how she felt having to do that, though. <laughs> but see, God got his way of humbling you. Yeah. He got his way. And yeah, she prayed for the Lord. She didn't care nothing about how bad I felt. But I mean, at, at she first, when she, when she had the, lady. when she had the, when she had the, she had the, but look, she figured, look, I had to but, call but, her and then say the same thing to her. But, yeah. but, 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 but look, now she tore up her car. I said, oh, Jesus. See, when God's wrath is upon you, it's like death be upon you. You know, like you see some kids, uh, for instance, Tina's grandson. 
got killed in a car accident. Mm -hmm. Driving too fast, stolen car stuff. His mama died, died the same way. She ran up on the 18 wheeler. Oh. And I'm so, so, you know me, I'm like, Jesus, why you take that girl? Lord, you know that girl need her kids? Jesus, and so the Lord say, just like I told you, to stop driving so fast. I told her, I warned her. So that was a wake up call for me. Slow it down. And this, it came to me, he told me, slow, slow down. He will tell you, he will forewarn us. And he did. And he gonna keep forewarning you, but then that time, well it's okay, I tried to tell him. I been telling him, this boy died three years after her death. In a stolen car. I don't know if the car was stolen, but they were going too fast. And he was the only one died. The girl died a couple of days later. Teenagers, nobody 21. And see, we had to pray on our family tree because there was a generational curse in our family where our boys were leaving before 21. You made it. The, uh, Run. who is that? Uh, man made it. Man man made made it. it. Mike made it. Mike made it. Yeah. Theo is gonna make it. You see what I'm saying? But before we start praying, see, somebody had to be able to intercede and pray for our family because the enemy was taking them out. You see, the women are stronger in our family than the men. But now they're rising up. The men are rising up you, you to be the men that they are called to be, to be the kings that they are called to be. You know, because the enemy is just taking them out. You can't drink it up. Every, every first family, and we, knowing how to pray now, we have to pray and ask God to forgive our first fathers. We're getting the prayer through. It's called intercessory prayer. Because Mama had a family, Uncle Eddie got a family. Putin got a family. Lorraine got a family. Okay? But each one of their boys were killed before 21. Now see, that's what you call a generational curse. And I was praying for Albert the other day. You know Albert got cancer? Yeah, Andy told me that. But he came before me so strong yesterday. Yes. You know, but see, these little, people that smart, and you can't just keep living life on earth mean and salty. You just can't keep doing it. God will get your attention, and everybody gets a forewarning. You need to stop doing that. You need to turn your life around. You need to stop doing that. That was one thing, like, by my car accident, that was God telling me, I'm in control, not you. I'm in control. You, That's you, right. You, 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 you got too much power. You know what you want? You don't got money, cars, and, you know, and stuff, and... Yeah, that show me. I'm you see what control. I'm saying? You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's like I said. We ain't so such a much. We just a dressed up piece of dirt. Just a dressed up piece of dirt. Just like I was telling Mary Junior. I said, don't look down on that man because he's drunk. You know, you used to be like that. I wasn't like that, but you were still drunk. Just because you was cleaned up, they didn't stop you being right. drunk. Exactly. You were still drunk. Exactly. You know, that's how we do. But yeah. see, yeah, don't turn your that's nose up in here. It's just like people coming in church and they don't be all cleaned up and they ashy and everything. I can't scoot over and get away from them because they looking like that. Right. But they that's one thing I ask a few pastors though. You know, do I have to come here dressed up? I mean, no. that's not, it's, 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 they say, they say, honestly, they said some, in some churches, come as you are, but then as soon as you come, as you know, you're in your pants, your, your, your jeans, and your regular shirt, people want to talk about you. But, but, oh, but, 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 you but, 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 you, you yeah. can, I, I, I know that, but still, you go there for the word, right or wrong? Right. You go for the word. But some people still want to criticize you but, in the house but, of the Lord. But, 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 how you but dress. what you got to do is, if water. this is Cheers. where the Lord told you to be at, you got That's to be persistent. Yep. Be persistent and come, long as, however you go, you just keep going. Right. Because to what they say, until they yeah. put you out them door, you keep going because the Lord is dealing that's with it. them. Because right. that's the Lord's church, no, not their church. But that's one apple. thing I hate. You want to be talking about how how God like how people God they are, but yet you want to talk about somebody how they dress. But how but, is that right? But but that's okay. You have to. I know it just it would just upset me. But, you know what? Too. but what happened is when we no, see that kind of thing, we have to pray for our leaders. They, they're not, right. they're not, uh, they ain't way up here for real. It's perfect example. Man got a church in, in St. Louis. Great big church. Great big church. Talk about people, children, on drugs and things. It just don't make no sense. 
His son is out there now. It did, honey. It did. So sad. So sad. He's so humble now. See, because God's not going to put you nowhere where you haven't been to be a witness to somebody else. Right. I can't tell you about my thyroid and I ain't been through it myself. Right. It's right. just like a drug addict. What can you tell me about drugs? You don't know about what I'm going through or withdrawal. Right. You ain't never been no drug addict. How you going to tell me about hooking? You ain't never been out there. Yeah. He always got somebody that's going to tell you. I understand. I understand. So the thing of it is, we have to keep a humble heart so that he can use us to do his will. He need us people here on earth to do his will. He gonna get somebody, somebody in the earth to do his will. You don't want to listen? Okay. You, I pray God give you a second, third, and fourth chance. Everybody don't get all them chances. But he is a God of a first, second, third, fourth, even fifth chance. Just like the girl was telling me, her daughter had a miscarriage. She is so mad because this was her daughter's first baby. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you how I felt about that. When he took my mom. You know, why he had to take my mom? There was a bunch of drug addicts around here, a bunch of uh, alcoholics around here doing nothing with their life and nobody. How can he just didn't take them? But he has a plan. God has a plan for us.